Hi, I'm Paolo Abrera and welcome to Green Living. Today, one of our game changers, Haribon, is teaching environmental preservation through fun activities like bird watching. So grab your binoculars and let's find out more. They sing, they fly, they dance, and bring color to the skies. They're not just beautiful creatures, but useful to the environment as well. They help produce plants, fruits, coffee, and chocolate throughout the land. Birds are one of the world's key pollinators. Here in the Philippines, we are home to hundreds of endemic and migratory bird species. And now, it's time that we humans have a bird's eye view to their plight. The birds are actually the, like, the farmers of the forest. So they are a seed dispersal agents. They enhance the pagtubo ng, ng mga kahoy, ng mga puno kahoy sa, sa buta, naturally. Sa Pilipinas, marami tayong endemic na species. No? So, endemic means na dito lang sila magkikita sa Pilipinas. So, kung mawala sila sa Pilipinas, hindi mo na sila magkikita sa ibang parts ng mundo. We have about 570 plus bird species, pero about 80 plus doon sa kanila ay threatened. 16 ay critically endangered, which means malapit na, malapit na talaga silang buubos, including uh, the Philippine Eagle. Aside from endemic bird species, we also have migratory birds. They are birds that breed in the northern part of the world and come here to the Philippines where there is warmer weather. Migratory birds are sila yung indicator of health ng ating environment. These bird species are shared not only by us but with other countries. Sa Pilipinas, meron tayong uh, regular na visitors ng mga migratory species about uh, 200 plus species ng mga migratory birds. Uh, uh, for, unfortunately, uh, 64 species are threatened. Then. The primary reason is habitat loss. The original forest na natitira sa Pilipinas ay approximately mga 24 percent na lang sa buong Pilipinas. So hindi lang to sa birds, no? Hindi lang sa hindi lang sa biodiversity in general. But of course, tayo as uh, human beings, nagde-depend din sa forests. Kung saan tayo kumukuha ng tubig natin, yung, especially sa mga communities na dependent talaga sa forests. Birds, forests, and humans are all interconnected. When we lose birds, we lose our forests, our agriculture, and the food and water that come with it. And so we have to keep an eagle's eye on the conservation of such biodiversity. And this exact thing is being kept under the wings of a foundation that aims to protect species and promote sustainability. Hybrid Foundation started as a birdwatching society and then later on uh, we transformed into a biodiversity conservation organization. Saving species, uh, saving sites and habitats, we encourage sustainability and lastly we empower people. One project kasi is conservation of the Philippine Eagle. So, sa Philippine Eagles, we have uh, a project, current project in Nueva Ecija and Aurora. In 2014, uh, we saw one juvenile Philippine Eagle sa kabundukan ng Gabaldon sa Nueva Ecija. You're protecting the Philippine Eagle. Uh, you're protecting the whole biodiversity of the area. Uh, we make them understand what's the importance of these species, what's the importance of biodiversity in general was the importance of uh, protecting the forest. No? Uh, once they get that, uh, sila din mismo yung nagbibigay ng kanilang uh, inputs. No? Another work is for urban birds and migratory birds. There are three parts yun. Meron tayong teaching tours. Yung teaching tours, pumunta tayo sa iba't ibang schools para magturo about the importance of migratory birds. Tapos yung susunod, yung Bird Guide Festival is under the Welcome to the Birds project. Welcome to the Birds ay isang program ng BirdLife International or partner. Awareness raising siya sa importance ng migratory birds. One great way to promote the protection of birds and their habitat is by providing first-hand experiences of appreciating the beauty of these species. And one example is bird watching, where people actually see the birds free and protected. Bird watching activities of Haribon are mostly conducted in La Papachea, in Manila Bay, uh, in La Mesa Eco Park, in Candaba Swamp, sa so, hindi migratory season sa mga forest birds. So dito sa ay dito lang sa UP Diliman. Marami tayong mga ibon na makikita dito, even mga endemic species. 
So even here in the wildlife. Dito sa Nino Aquino Parks and Wildlife Center, we have uh, uh, certain spe many species of birds. No? It's a really nice place for people to see uh, the bird species that are difficult to see in the wild. Sa bird watching kasi, may mga bago kaming nakakasama na first time mag bird watching. Nabubuksan yung isipan nila na may mga ganun palang klasing ibon. Dahil sa nakikita natin, kakaroon ng education yung ibang tao na hindi naman natin kailangan pag may nakita tayong ibon na ganyan, babarilin na lang natin. Eh yun nga, may mga endangered na rin kasi. By involving ourselves in different activities that help in the protection of species and their habitat, we're also helping in securing our forests and our food and water production as well. And by doing so, we build a biodiversity champion in all of us. A biodiversity champion takes what he or she has learned with Harry Boyd and helps the, their community. And ako na yung naglilid sa sarili kong community or sa friends ko towards biodiversity conservation initiatives. Sisimula siya maski sa simple na pag-share ng post or kapag uh, nagsistart na sila mag-bird watching or nagsishare sila ng photos ng birds nila na nakikita sa iba't ibang lugar. At least, alam natin, meron tayong record ng kung ano yung nakikita nila doon na birds. Napakalaking importance nung yung pag raise ng awareness. Kunyari, hindi nila alam dati na yung mga ibon, kinakain pala yung plastic. Kasi akala nila is dayon. So, since alam na nila na hindi lang ito yung epekto na nakapagtapon ako ng basura, um, kakalat siya. Pero makikita nila yung connection nun sa biodiversity. Dream is uh, to one day see na wildlife and human beings living together sustainable way. Proud ako na nandito sa atin yung pinakamalaking raptor sa buong mundo, yung Philippine Eagle nga. Uh, proud, na, proud ako na we have hundreds of bird species here sa Philippines. For them to appreciate it, to see it in the wild, we have to protect the uh, natural environment. Gusto kong makita, hindi lang sa ating generation, but for the future generations, kagandahan ng ating environment. Pero yung tao, mismo na ng mga Pilipino, minsan yung tumisira din ng ating natural environment. It really starts with awareness. So, yun nga, marami tayong as normal Filipinos, marami tayong hindi alam tungkol sa ating biodiversity. But, we should start to let the people know that we have this. And uh, what are we going to protect if we don't know that uh, we have this actually. When was the last time you heard some birds singing? When was the last time you stopped to stare at some birds flying? Birds, may it be of endemic or migratory types, play a vital role in the existence of our forests and the survival of humankind. And as long as we spread our wings in protecting these bird species and do our part, we fly high towards a better future, not just for us, but for the planet as well. Welcome back to Green Living. Now, earlier we showed you days one, two, and three of our Zero Waste Challenge. Find out now how we did in the last two days of our task. So it's day four of the Zero Waste Challenge. Um, right now, I'm going to be uh, preparing myself a little snack, a little meal, um, and I've decided to sort of uh, concentrate on um, using as much leftovers as possible. I know I'm not really reinventing the wheel here, but I'm trying to be as efficient as I can uh, and not create any more extra food waste. I put to uh, practice that the, uh, the concept of um, using up all your waste before you actually create more waste. So I used up all my leftovers before I created more leftovers. Not a bad job. Well, it's day five of our Zero Waste Challenge, the final day, and the kids and I are gonna try making some homemade shampoo. Now, homemade shampoo is good because there's less packaging that makes its way into our landfills, plus it's got more organic ingredients in it, which is healthier for the planet. Depending on what ingredients you use, it can be cheaper than store-bought shampoo. So, that makes it a win for both my wallet and the planet. Let's give it a try. All we need is some honey. It moisturizes the hair and promotes healthy growth and hot water. The ratio is one tablespoon of honey to three tablespoons of water. Adding essential oils is optional. Just stir the honey into the hot water and add five to ten drops of essential oil.
transfer to a container, and there you go. Your very own honey shampoo. Cover it up. Well, now we have one less bit of garbage to worry about. Now, speaking of garbage, do you remember that pile of garbage we had last week? Well, let's take a peek at it now. Well, here we are. I don't think we can claim a total victory, but uh, we did try to minimize our waste. As you can see, we did our best. It's hard to avoid products that you know, inevitably come with packaging. A great way to start is to, is to choose a product which has a little less and, and sort of gradually move your way towards uh, eliminating as much of that packaging as possible. We try to avoid um, most plastics by bringing bags, I guess. And with the like cardboard and stuff, we will we do crafts because we actually like doing that. We also enjoy doing that. I guess recycling is still something I would like to do, even though the challenge is over. Recycling is something we should all do. I think another thing that we learn is that we should respect our planet more because we take this planet for granted and plastic is being developed every day and it, hurt, it hurts our environment so it's a good idea to recycle. One thing I've learned from doing the Zero Waste Challenge and all the other features we've had this past season is that it's not that hard to do things to help the environment. What is hard though is finding the initiative to actually start helping. But we here at Green Living like to believe that we've shared with you lots of different ways and tips in which you can help and we hope that we've inspired you enough to actually start doing so. Hey, if me and my kids can do it, so can you. For more tips and behind the scenes notes, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like our Facebook page as well. I'm Paolo Abrera and I'll see you guys next season right here on Green Living. Check, 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 can I hear you now? Yeah. Okay. Beb, pa kasi rin ayong isang pinto at nangyaw-ngyaw tong alaga mo. Welcome back to Green Living. Well, now remember that pile of garbage that we had last week? Well, let's take a peek at it now. And oh, sorry, then, then we leave. <clears throat>